Hello everybody, this is Casey with SimplePotential.com and today we're going to take a look at our first Unity tip. This tip is how to make a 9 slice sprite. This is useful for panels in Unity as well as some other things. You'll need a paint program or Photoshop or something of that nature to create your sprite. I'm going to be using paint.net. I'll provide a link in the description where you can pick this up for free. We're going to start by adding a layer to our layers. Most paint programs that are advanced have this kind of feature. If not, you can draw on the layer that you have, but the advantage of doing this is it's easy to create a transparent sprite, which is the effect I'm going after. Then I'm going to come up to Shapes, and I'm going to select a rounded rectangle for our purposes today. I'm going to adjust the brush width up a little bit. I'm also going to tell it to fill the shape with an outline. Really, you can do whatever you want in this case. I'm going to say red for the background. Then I'm going to come in and draw my shape. And the key here with whatever sprite you decide to design is to make sure that the borders are all the same. So as you can see, I got one pixel on this side, one pixel on this side, one and one. I'm also drawing on a 32 by 32 canvas. Um, you can really use whatever size canvas you want, but for the purposes of today, I'm just going to do 32 by 32. It's small and it's effective. And that is all I really need for this sprite. And as you can see, I can come over here. I want to turn off my background and you can see that it's transparent. I'm going to leave this off. In fact, you could actually delete this layer if you want. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to save my sprite. We're going to save the sprite in the project folder for my Unity project. In this case, the sprites folder of the assets for the project video tips. I want to change it to a PNG file. This will ensure we get to keep our transparent background and not lose any resolution on the image. I'm just going to call this 9 slice for the purposes of this project. Save. And it's going to ask us how do you want to set the bit depth. Leave it at 32. I'm going to flatten it, which means I'm going to lose a layer. Now if I was saving this for an actual project, I would have wanted to save the original in its original format so that I could edit it later, but that's not important for this project. Then we're going to jump over to Unity and you can see that in our sprites folder we now have our 9 slice sprite. Now the sprite is not 9 sliced yet. We have to select the sprite and we have to set up a few things. We're going to leave this as a single sprite and I'm going to set this to 32 pixels per unit. I don't need mit maps. I'm going to set it to point no filter that way it sprite continues to look good and I'm going to set it to a true color. We can leave the max size at this point because this image is not going to exceed that. Then we're going to apply. Now if we want, we could drag this out into our project, zoom in on it, take a look at it, and we can see that it looks pretty good. Now if we go back to our sprite and we click on the sprite editor, this is where you can turn it into a 9 slice sprite. You can see there are these green tabs up here. If you drag these down, you can set them to where you want slices to occur. Now if we apply this, you will see now that we have nine slices. What will happen is, is when we apply this to an object that can handle a 9 slice sprite, such as a panel on the UI, this will be used as the left corner, this will be used as the right corner, this will be used as the top portion of the image, the left, the right, the middle pieces, the bottom left, the bottom right, and the bottom. So no matter how big our panel is, it will always have this shape to it, however it'll be able to extend as needed. Now if we close this, and in our project if we do create game object UI panel, this will add a canvas and a panel to our scene. The panel is quite large. 
so that it's visible for us and we can actually see the outlines accurately, let's scale it down to 0.5. Now at this point you can see that we have the default 9 slice image provided by Unity which is this kind of gray icon with uh, black borders on it. Um, and you can see it over here. Zoom in, if we adjust it we can get a slightly better view of what it looks like and you can kind of see that there's a little bit of a curve here um, but it's really quite difficult to see. So in our case we want to use our own 9 slice sprite in order to overcome this and we can actually see the outline better. Red may not be the best choice for you if you left the inside as a white or a gray the color options would actually work a little bit better for you. For instance if I use red you can see here that this gray default panel is becoming red. The default for the alpha channel is also 100. You'll want to switch this up to be whatever color you were looking to get out of your image. In our case we're going to want 255 when we replace the image. But as you can see you could adjust the colors this way and get whatever it is that you want out of the panel by using these lighter colors. This is something that you really just kind of need to play around with in order to get the effect that you're looking for. In our case, I'm going to set this back to white and the alpha to 255, resulting in a hex of all Fs or RGBA of all 255. Then we want to change our source image. And we can either do this by clicking on the lookup and selecting our image here, or we could drag and drop the source image from our sprites folder, whichever is easiest for you. Now, as you can see, after changing the alpha and leaving the color as white, we can see that we get a very well pronounced curvature to our panel. This is exactly the effect that we're going after for this tutorial and I think that it works out quite well. You could obviously make just about any shape you wanted as long as you can create nine slices that work where they all match up correctly. For instance we could have points coming off of the sides here if you wanted possibly a star effect or something of that nature. If you like this video please click the like button and comment below. Should you like to see future videos, please let us know. Thank you for watching.